Amazon Prime's brand new horror movie, The Manor, has just landed in time for Halloween. But is it worth the watch? Hi, my name's Carl. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to the review of Amazon Prime's brand new horror movie, The Manor, which was written and directed by Axel Carolyn. If you're visiting my channel for the very first time, Carlinio9, hello and thank you so much for taking the time to join me. Please consider subscribing and sharing if you can because it really does help the channel out and I really appreciate it as well. Thank you. The story follows a woman called Judith Albright, played by Barbara Hershey, who after suffering from a minor stroke, moves into a historic old nursing home, where she starts to suspect that something, or someone, is killing off the residents one by one. You don't belong here. Don't worry, I'll be okay. Whatever's coming next, I don't want my family to see me like that. How do you like your new home? It's beautiful. It takes a bit of time but you'll fit right in. Anyone there? Are you okay? Last night, I saw something. What was it? Not being able to distinguish between what's real and what's a dream. That's a sign of dementia. <gasps> this is a movie that will get you thinking. Judith has just moved into a nursing home and she's seeing all sorts of things. But has she really lost her mind or is there something going on with the staff? Just the grandson played by Nicholas Alexander. He is the closest thing in Judith's life. And when she starts to try to explain what's going on, you can tell how crazy it actually sounds, which I thought was very clever. My roommate, she died last night. All the others have died too. This movie did have a slow build up and sadly never took off, but it did contain a couple of tense moments and also a couple of jump scares as well, which I thought was good. But whatever you think of this movie, you can't help watch it all the way to the end because you want to know what that final outcome is and find out what is really going on. As the movie gets going, you get a real sense of sorrow. You really do start to feel sorry for Judith. She feels all alone in this new nursing home and you also get a sense that her own daughter couldn't wait to get rid of her. After watching this movie, I know I'm in no rush to get old. I thought the cast in this movie was pretty solid as well. Bruce Davison who played Roland and also Jill Larson who played Trish and Fran Bennett who played Ruth. The three of them had their own small group in this nursing home and they really stood out for me. This isn't one of those big budget movies so I would suggest if you are going to give this movie a go, just don't expect too much. There were a few negative picky bits in this movie for me. The first was Judith. She was meant to be 70 years old in this nursing home, but she looked far too healthy and young to even be in a nursing home. But having said that, she is in fact over 70 in real life. The next one is just picky, but it was the grandson. He kept showing up in this nursing home to visit his grandma. And I'm thinking, how did he actually get in that nursing home in the first place? I'm guessing he learnt the code to get in. But surely the amount of times he was actually getting in, he would have been caught by now. And lastly, this movie did contain some CGI moments. And for me, I didn't think the CGI in the manor was very good in my personal opinion. But having said that, the manor did have a very good sound. There is a particular scene where this storm is going on. We've got this thunder and lightning banging and lighting up. I didn't have the sound up very loud, but that storm filled the living room nicely. So what did I think of the manor on Amazon Prime? I think I'm going to go somewhere down the middle with this one. It was okay, but it certainly wasn't brilliant either. The manor on Amazon Prime has a running time of 82 minutes long. This isn't a long film at all. It's under an hour and a half. So it is an easy watch if you haven't got anything else to do. I couldn't actually find an age certificate rating here in the UK on this movie. 
There's no sexual nudity, there is profanity, and there is some violence as well. I'm going to give The Manor on Amazon Prime 3 out of 5 popcorns. Please do join me in the comments. I would love to know for this video. What's your actual thoughts on The Manor? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Or are you planning to watch it? I would love to hear. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this quick review. If you like this video, please do give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe if you can. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.